Hello everybody and welcome. What a nice day. Check that out. It rained yesterday and the day before, but today's pretty nice. Well, I'm putting the Model Y to work. We're headed over with the Skag to do some mowing. This is a 6 by 12 foot garden trailer. Normal connections here. I've hooked into the back of the Model Y trailer hitch. So we're good there. All right, let's get the Skag lawnmower hooked up here. Just leaving the house here at 80%, pulling the trailer. Kind of interesting, you can see, uh, looks like someone's tailgating me. Well, kind of, it's a uh, trailer here. Driving here on the back roads, as you can see the uh, hand out of the way. It's a uh, diesel three-cylinder Skag. It's commercial 72-inch uh, ride-on zero-turn lawnmower. And uh, it weighs in at about 1,500 to 1,700 pounds. Pretty heavy. The deck is quarter inch deck, deck steel. So it's pretty heavy. It's uh, commercial quality, so it's pretty big and heavy. Anyway, it's in a trailer, I think tips the scales probably at five to 800 pounds. So I'm pulling uh, probably a ton and a half maybe without weighing everything. The Model Y knows it's there. Of course, the trailer indicator indicates we have the trailer lights plugged in. And uh, going up a little hill here. And uh, while the Model Y knows it's there, uh, it has absolutely no trouble pulling it. The trailer I'm pulling is a 6x12 trailer. And uh, the wheels are as wide as the lane here. I don't know if you can see it. So there's on the left side and over here is on the right. If I can stay on the road. So there's the right wheel and uh, there's the left wheel. So I've really got to keep it right centered. The uh, lane isn't that wide right here. going down this hill here and I will say that regenerative braking uh, does a good job. Uh, I just take my foot off the accelerator here and uh, comes to a right stop here. I would do an acceleration test but I got to tie down the uh, skag. Uh, it'll probably push it way back to the uh, tailgate. I don't want to do that until I tie it down to try that. But I uh, suspect, as you probably know, it probably accelerate like crazy anyway. This is the before shot. Yeah, I'd say it uh, needs a little bit of mowing here. And been here for probably a couple weeks. Had a lot of rain. Let's get it mowed. Now that looks a lot better. Now I'm going to use my steel electric string trimmer. This is awesome. And just like that, all mowed, weed eated, weed et, whatever you call it, we're good to go. Let's head out of here. The job is done. Didn't take too long. Talked to uh, one of the guys there and um, just heading back now. 93 today. Pretty warm. Here's what it looks like pulling the trailer. You know, it's a normal thing. You can see the animation uh, from the full self-driving. Thinks it's either a pickup truck or a van following us there. I'm back to the house. Let's get this thing unloaded and put everything away. I 
I'm sitting in the Model Y in the garage. Let's have a look here exactly what we used. We're at 73%, just switched to 72. Today, uh, just in that trip we did, we drove nine miles, used four kilowatt hours of energy, and we averaged 487 watt hours per mile. That's up about 150 watt hours per mile. That makes sense. We were towing around a better part of a ton of stuff on the back of the car. As you see, I get a lot of questions about the Model Y and just how useful it is in every day-to-day -day types of things. This is just another example example that I can hook up a trailer to it, do work with it, put it away, and use it for my daily driver. It's really a handy vehicle to have. If you like today's video, go ahead and click the like, and if you would, please subscribe. I would certainly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the next videos, and take care.